Welcome back to another episode of Average, you guys. Today we have a special oh, guest for... Oh, son of a <laughs> bitch! <laughs> oh, okay. That's day two already. Today we have a guest. His name is Lee, a great friend of ours. We play football with him. That's about it. <laughs> we invited him to a party and he freestyles for like an hour. He also has his own podcast. Mm -hmm. What's your podcast called? Uh, Give it a shout out. Just recently started the podcast. It's called Do at Eleven Fifty Nine. Like you have a homework assignment or something. Do at Eleven Fifty Nine. What do you guys? What do you talk about on your podcast exactly? Um, I talk about a little bit of everything. The podcast is kind of like generally about like it started off as kind of like being just specifically emphasis on college, which is where the name do L M 59 came from. But mm -hmm. that's clever because yeah. everybody's yeah. been in that boat. Like. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would really resonate with people like they're like do L M 59 like and that's when like when I tell people the name, they're like, oh, so I'm like, yeah, I know it hurts already, doesn't it? <laughs> so like, yeah, but. I just kind of wanted it to be like, eventually I want to move on like past college. Like I want, mm -hmm. want it to be like more just a, a conversation that's continuous rather than just, oh, here's college, here's college, here's college. That, okay. For real, because there's, everybody has a college story. Yeah. Like, oh, very yeah. good and very yeah. bad stories, but they're all funny. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, you guys have any there's always crazy college stories? There's always stories? a good point to a good story. That's why it makes it good. <laughs> I think so Three Gs. <laughs> Most of the points is don't drink it. as much. Like, <laughs> I've learned. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, uh, do you guys have any college stories? Like, any crazy Pretty stuff happens at your dorm stories. or dorm? Oh, I do have a really good, a really crazy one actually in my dorm. So my freshman year, I stayed at Brooks. That's crazy. What about you, Blake? <laughs> 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 so I, my freshman year, I stayed at Brooks, and on our floor we have like you have the regular bathrooms because community bathrooms, and then you have the handicap bathrooms. But we didn't have any handicapped kids on our floor, so they just let any student who's available, like, to just go in there because it was single use. So, like, a lot of kids would always pile in there. Well, one day, oh. we went in there at about <laughs> midnight, and somebody had shit all over. And when I say all over, I mean, like, not, like, on the toilet. I mean, on the walls. There was shit on the walls. There was shit in the sink on the, oh, like, by the shower. The there was sink. shit on the toilet. There was shit everywhere. It's like that Dumb and Dumber scene. <laughs> it was. Like, there was shit everywhere. <laughs> That's how it was. Oh my it gosh. was disgusting. I feel bad for the janitor. Yeah, we got an email about, we got an email about by our RAs. Everybody was almost got fined on our floor. <laughs> Nobody to this day knows who the shit bandit was. Was it you? Jesus, I so was, <laughs> was it like like did somebody just spread their legs and shoot? Or like, I don't know. How smeared on the wall. Because was wearing like someone had to be consciously thinking about how to do this. I for may sure may have planned it out. May have yeah, been exactly. Who who was just bored in their rooms? Like you know, I think I'm gonna like defecate myself and rub it on the walls. <laughs> well, the, the thing that gets me is that. There was way more shit than one human being could have done. <laughs> so either it was either it was like so a it was group, a team, or, yeah, yeah, it was a yeah. team that was doing it, or it was like multiple occurrences, like they just keep building on top of each other. Man, oh. Playing it up, Billy, you got the walls, I got the toilet. Um, who wants the sink? Who yes, wants sir, the sink? yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Ready? <I> <laughs> hey, we gotta get this shit together. That's, That's disgusting. Good. That hurt. If I was a janitor, I would just quit that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go back too. down the elevator. Not yeah. Imagine yeah. hearing that news. Like, hey, uh, we have a. A, a project for you project <laughs> yeah apparently some kid <laughs> rubbed shit all over the walls and toilet and sink and everything we need you to clean it up it's gonna be really fun oh, it's, really it's not fun. bad it's not bad it's not bad that's what you always say whenever something's really terrible we're like, it's not that bad yeah. Yeah. and then it's like the worst thing ever. yeah mm -hmm. or like it's, it's okay would yeah. you do i mean if like you would you do it's it? not bad then it's bad would i clean shit would no. you clean it up nope. what if they gave you like a hundred dollar bonus hundred dollars hundred bucks a hundred dollar Fuck no, I'm not doing yeah. that. A hundred dollar bonus? No. Not a hundred dollars. Yeah, they would have to make my they would have to make my whole like month. Yeah. Give me yeah. months free paid vacation. I would need very the money <laughs> to, to clean that stuff up. I don't even think I can do it for money. Oh, I would just like That's I would tough. just want to see the kid so I could like square up with him right there. <laughs> and how does one wipe shit off the wall? Because you know it's not gonna be like a, a clean like wipe. It's gonna yeah. smear. You're gonna have to like keep wiping it, wring out the towel. 
towel. And then oh, go Garen, and I, yeah. I know, I know the, I know the method. They're gonna get squeegee, right? And start <laughs> squ- making it wet, and then it's just squeegeeing everything. I'll just down. bring paint in and paint over it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just spray the shit. You know the ceiling that has all the ripples yeah. on it? It's gonna look like that. It's textured. It's <laughs> somebody's like poking it. And <laughs> He's like, wow. <laughs> My hand just keeps sinking. <laughs> how much is this? Adds how much to the tuition? <laughs> it's like they're doing tour. Oh yeah, if you didn't know, Lee also does tours on campus for Mizzou. Do yep. Mm. If you're interested in Mizzou, you're watching this. Uh-huh. Come up, get a tour. <laughs> they also take tips. Um, <laughs> what about you? You got any crazy stories? Um, I'm trying to think. Not that I can think of right now. Um, didn't I mean? I mean, the, your dorm, there are some. Didn't but your dorm flood? <laughs> yeah, our dorm kind of flooded. The uh, <laughs> okay, all right. So I guess Aren't this, you is, this like, is pretty nice dorms I just remember or? this. So I was in Hawthorne. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if you guys know where that's at. Yeah. But it was one sure. of the newer dorms at the time. Mm. And uh, it flooded. Yeah, but you want to know why it flooded? Because <laughs> were you on the bottom the, floor or like? No. We were on. <laughs> you said the top floor. And I'm fourth good. floor, third fourth. floor, fourth floor. But it didn't like when you think flooding. It's not. It's probably not what you're expecting. So, it flooded because the sprinkler system went off, ah. right? <laughs> and the sprinkler system went off because someone tried to burn down the dorm. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, so yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I thought somebody like microwaved a pop tarp for too long. No, That's no. like like actually tried to burn down the door. This is why we in the trash have nice things. This yeah, I know. Oh, exactly. People are nuts. Like, <laughs> so when I say flooding, it's probably like a couple inches of water on our floor. So, but did it make it to your room or your room? was it? It was close. So it was like lucky. right down the hall from my room because you could see like on the carpet where it sort of like stopped. So I mean, we got lucky, but. So was there a fire at least, or no? Did you? They, I, I think there. Well, I don't think there was an actual fire, but there was like smoke. So I mean, well, I, I guess that would mean there's a fire. But, but yeah. Jeez. Did you guys yeah. have to like evacuate? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Leave. We had back to back fires in my dorm. <laughs> from the same person <laughs> doing, <laughs> doing the same thing. He lived with Blake. He moved by Blake. They kicked him out, so he lived at your dorm. The sad yeah. thing is, he probably like the kid tried to burn it down. He probably told us, but he's like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to burn this fucking. Yeah. Down. yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone's okay. like, yeah, sure he will. Mike. He's like, no, I'm going to burn it down. I'm like, yeah, we love to see. It. He's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And one day he did it. Everybody's like evacuating the uh, dorm. And he's just like, ha, 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 ha. He's like, who did this? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> but what were you saying? The people that started, so like there's these people that cooked every night and they were international students. In their dorm? Yeah, like we had the kitchen in the oh, okay. bottom floor. And I don't know if like they weren't sure, like if something on the conversion of like time and microwaves or something was, <laughs> something had to have been off because they Metric burnt, system. they started a fire every time they used the microwave. <laughs> it was two nights in a row. First night they did it, we walked past there and it was like black smoke in there and those guys were walking out. Next night we do it, same guys are walking out. Whenever we walk past there. He's like, maybe we just order this time. <laughs> maybe plastic is... I just want a hot water and they put up like a plastic bottle like yours. And like styrofoam in there. <laughs> I can just imagine like how disappointed I would be if I just walked in and somebody mi- saw somebody like microwave in a water bottle like that. This disappointment face is just really... <laughs> How did you make it this far? It. What about you? Do you did you have any like memorable stories or anything crazy? Um, I have a couple. I <laughs> maybe a couple depends which, whichever is safe to say on this podcast. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was good. having trouble. Thinking we don't about. care. It's just we're looking <laughs> yeah. out for you. We, no, fair enough. Fair I just enough. didn't want to mention anyone's name, so I couldn't. Okay. Yeah, I know. I will say so. I am of legal drinking age. Let me start off by saying that. <laughs> at the time, <laughs> at the also time, a place where you can get yep. a fake. At the time, <laughs> at the time of these events, um, I'll tell this one about. Um, one day, I I was just going out with some friends. It was a big group of us actually, um, and so we went to this club. I may or may not say the name of this club, uh, <laughs> but it was it was a nice place. A lot of people in Columbia go to it, and like I'm not really a big club person, but you know, I was like, mm-hmm. hey, everyone's going out. You know, I might as well go out one time. I'm also not a big drinking person. I literally did not start drinking <laughs> until my 21st birthday. Oh, it's one of those instances where it was like the one time. <laughs> yes, I was. If, if you talk to like any of my friends from high school, like I never smoked weed. I don't drink until so like my first drink, literally legit came from my 21st birthday. <laughs> and so 
it was actually earlier this year. I was out. We were out. We went to this club and um, it was like bottomless night. So it was like six dollars all you could oh, drink. Yeah. Oh, okay. there's a lot of that. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so uh, mm-hmm. my friend Mason, I'm gonna say his name because <laughs> he deserves this. Um, <laughs> he's like, yo, you want to get a drink? And I'm like, uh, I don't really know what to drink. He's like, just go up there, order something. So I was like, okay. So I go up there. He's like, it's on me. And I was like, oh, well, if he's paying for it, sure, I'll order something. So I went up there and I was like, I don't really know what to what to order. I've never actually ordered a drink at a mm-hmm. bar. And the guy was just looking at me like, what do you want? And I was like, uh, so the first thing that came to mind was vodka Red Bull. I don't know why. <laughs> that was just the only thing I've ever heard. So I drink my vodka Red Bull, <laughs> go out there, I'm dancing. Keep in mind, I'm in this club. And if you've ever been to a club, you know, it's kind of like cramped sometimes. Yeah. It's hot. Sweaty, the floor oh, sticky. Yeah. And I'm, I don't know who told my dumb ass to wear a sweater, but I'm wearing a, I'm wearing this. <laughs> you wore a sweater? Yeah, I wore it a sweater. <laughs> it was like april it was, it was, it was yeah it was springtime so it was pretty toasty but it was it's like a missouri springtime so yeah. you never know what the weather uh-huh. is going to be so i wore a sweater to the club <laughs> and i'm just oh, out man, there just drenched. oh yeah i'll have to find the pictures you'll see my i was damp i was very damp. i'm like if you were drinking you would have got drunk like oh yeah i was drinking <laughs> And then, like, go out there, dance. I like to dance. I like to have fun. So I'm out there. <laughs> and I said, no, I look up. Mason's like, yo, you want another drink? And I'm like, no, oh, just finish this one. And I was like, no. He was like, oh, I'll get you another drink. <laughs> He's like, what are you drinking? And I was like, a uh, vodka Red Bull. So and go back. Mason comes back. And I'm on vodka Red Bull number two. I'm just out here dancing, having fun. Ha, ha, ha. Everything is going great. I look up again. Mason's like, yo, you want another drink? And I'm like, God. <laughs> Damn, Mason, I'm on. T- <laughs> ah, you're just down in these, and um, so I'm like, yeah, sure. So I'll get the vodka Red Bull number three. Go back out dancing. By this time, I'm sweating pretty good. I'm like, because like I'm still like fine. I know exactly where I am. I'm not like drunk or anything. Uh-huh. I'm just having a good time. Still, you know, dancing, and um, so I go out dancing. Next thing I know, Mason comes back. Yo, you want another drink? I'm like, are you just like, like guzzling these? What are you doing? Like, and so I'm like, yep, just go ahead, give me another vodka Red Bull. I'm on vodka Red Bull number four now, and I'm just You're having feeling tough. dangerous. Yeah. Well, like it's like not even hitting me yet, cause like I've been like dancing and stuff, so I'm like, I'm fine. Like, I'm thinking like I'm handling myself, yeah. like cause usually like when you start drinking, like you get to a certain point, you're like, oh, you're a little cool. Like, yeah. like I'm feeling fine. Guys, I'm okay. And then like after like. After the fourth vodka Red Bull, I like slowed down for like 20, 30 minutes. I'm just uh-huh. out here dancing, jumping around. I'm like, oh shit, it's hot. Like just dancing. <laughs> Look up. Mason's like, yo, you want another drink? And I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like, yeah, just <laughs> just give me whatever you get. So Mason's been drinking whiskey and cokes all night. <laughs> Again, first time like really drinking. So I don't know what whiskey and coke does, but the first one I got was more coke than whiskey. So I was like, "Oh, this is delicious!" Like I'll just, I'll just take yeah. this, took it, drank it, and so I'm on drink number five total. Four vodka Red Bulls, one whiskey and coke. I'm dancing, and then Mason comes back and he's like, "Yo, you want another drink?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll take another drink." What are you like? Just give me another whiskey and coke. The second one was a little bit more whiskey than it was coke, but I was yep, like, you know what, I'm is. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find, it. I'm gonna drink it a little bit. It's a lot. It was a lot of alcohol. So, mom, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry. Um, look up again. Mason's like, yo, you want another drink? And I'm like, yep, give me another whiskey and coke. So, drink number eight, third whiskey and coke. I'm halfway through this whiskey and coke right now. And then you ever see like those movie scenes where it's like everything just stops, like yeah. mm-hmm. the, like you're in a loud place and like there's no noise. That's me. Like I was literally in the club. I just remember Old Town Road was playing. Like this is when Old Town Road was like really, really getting popping. And everyone, so I'm like, I want to take like this girl. <laughs> this girl, she's just dancing on me and like she's like I guess twerking on me and stuff. So I'm just like, and then next thing I know, she's like, I'm gonna take, my and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like. Is that my heart? I'm like, this is my heart beating. I'm literally just standing there. I'm like, this is this is my heart beating. Like, I can hear my heart in this loud club. I just see people's faces like, and I'm just like, <laughs> like I'm literally just like, I'm about the VIP section now. Like, I'm on the floor. Like, the VIP section is up. So I'm just literally standing there like, holy crap. Like, I can hear my heart beating. Like, I was like, I'm about to die. I was like, I'm about to die right now. This is exactly what death is feeling like. I just, I got so scared because like, I just heard it go. <laughs> And I'm like, this is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna die. <laughs> so then, like, I just kind of like, she still, the girl's still dancing on me. I'm just like standing there, and like all of a sudden, I just like, I just feel. I'm like, oh, I'm about to throw up. <laughs> I was like, I am about to throw up. I was like, 
I'm about to throw up on this woman. I'm about to throw up oh, on this no. woman. <laughs> oh, and so I'm like, I have to hold this in. I cannot throw up on this girl. I've been dancing, jumping around, mixing alcohol all night. Mm. And like, away? like, yeah, like I was like, you know, the way the VIP <laughs> section is set up is like all the way on the opposite side. So in order to get through to the bathroom, you have to walk through a crowd of people all the way mm-hmm. on the other side. So I'm like, mm-hmm. I, I, I can't go. So I, <laughs> I, I tried though. I like, I kind of pushed a girl away. I was like, yo, I'm just gonna like go to the bathroom real quick. And then um, <laughs> she's like, no, we're having fun. Let's just dance. And I'm like. I just I just need to go to the bathroom. I'm fine. And like in, the, in my head, I'm like, look, either, either I can throw up on you or you can let me go to the bathroom. Yeah. And so I was like, if I don't throw up, I'm going to die. Like I can feel my heart. Like, for sure, my heart's just like, you know, I'm like, I'm about to die. This is like, and like, I'm just like, I, I need to go. I need to I need to go right now. I need to go. And so like, I'm just looking at this whiskey and Coke and I'm like, oh God. I'm like, I can't drink any more of this. So like, I don't know what told me. I was like, just try to wash it down a little bit. Like, drink it. <laughs> And like my heart was like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh god, this is about to happen. I'm about to throw up. So like she turns around, she's just throwing like throwing it back on me again. I'm like, no, 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 no. She kept dancing on yeah, you. Yeah, she kept dancing after three times of me saying, look, I'm just gonna go, like trying to push her away. She just was not taking over him. So now I'm just literally hanging on to the VIP section, like, like trying to comprehend where I am. And she's just like keeps going, and I'm like, I'm about to throw up. I'm about to throw up. I'm about to throw up. So I look at the back of her head, and I look at the cup in my hand, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> explode into this cup like i completely exploded into this cup and like i'm just throwing up looking around to make sure no one see me i'm so i'm just like <laughs> so you keep throwing up into the cup keep throwing up into the cup and it like overflowed the, like this yeah, the cups are only like that big so like it overflowed and started spilling out all over my hand meanwhile this girl is just like and i'm just looking at her like <laughs> Like, I'm like, this oh, is bad. Man. I'm just thinking, like, please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Is puke all over her? No, like, it kind of, like, spilled a little bit on her back. And it, like, it's, like, all over my hand now. So, like, and she's still dancing. She's she just still dancing, doesn't know anything. And so <laughs> then, like, women are nothing. Finally, <laughs> like, finally, I'm to the point where I'm like, whew, I'm like, okay. And my heart goes, I'm like, okay, I'm breathing. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good right now. I know where I am. And, like, I don't even know what song was playing after that. I just remember Old Town Road. So, like, I take the cup and, like, I like set it by the VIP section. I like I need to get rid of that. <laughs> so like the throw up still over on one hand. Like the girl turns around. She's like looking me in the eyes. She's like, and she like grabs my hand and she's like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh you don't know there's like throw up on my hand right now. And like it was it was, it was <laughs> oh you don't it know was, it was bad throw up too. And like she's just looking. She's like biting her lip. She's like being all flirty and stuff. And then, like, the best part of the story. She's like she looks at me and she goes. Wipe like she literally like, grabs my bomb and soaked hand and she's like <laughs> and like you just rejuvenated yourself in vomit. <laughs> you, and like I almost threw up again after seeing that. Like literally I just looked at her like that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I almost threw up again. And like literally I'm just, I'm just standing there like and like I don't think she I think she was pretty drunk too so I don't think she comprehends like me just staring at her in the face like cause like, I'm really just appalled like this this lady just like vomit on her face and like at that point I, I wasn't trying to be nice anymore. I was like I gotta go I was like so next thing I know I'm like walking away I just see like people like jumping around in the VIP section where this vomit cup is like someone, <laughs> someone kicked the cup over and like oh. spilled on somebody's <laughs> leg and so I'm just looking and I'm like I'm like this is bad this is really bad and then the best part is where I'm just like I gotta go to the bathroom I'm like I'm going away right now Right as I go, I'm walking through people. I look up. My friend Mason's like, "Yo, Lee, you want another drink?" And I'm like, "Mason, get the fuck out of my face! Like, I don't want to see you anymore." I was like, "I never." I was like, "I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to see you anymore." So I'm fine. That was oh, man, that's that, that And then amazing. I saw the girl recently and just walked the other way. Really? And I was like, I don't think she would. So hopefully, did, did never she ever remember. like realize? No. <laughs> Matter of fact, like I walked back. Like I went to the bathroom for about ten minutes, and then went over there. I was like, I need water. I need water. So like I went to like the bar, got some water, and like walked back out there to like go dance more. Like she was like You're all over that. Like, yeah, I used yeah. To dance. yeah I, I stayed. I did stay. My song. My ass went home. <laughs> I, I should have went home, but I was drunk, so you know I wasn't gonna drive home. 
And like, I <laughs> and so like, I went back out there with my water and just see her like dance with some guy, and they're like all cheek to cheek, and I'm like, mm, he don't even know. <laughs> he doesn't even know. He's so. like kissing up on her cheek and everything. <laughs> Literally, they were just like, and I was like, that's ooh. <laughs> so my vomit got on at least six people that night, and it started off in the cup. So, so Mason, if you're ever if you're out there listening, um, thank you for letting me know that I cannot handle like whiskey and coke. You know, that's a real friend that gets you messed up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah true. I, I, I don't, he didn't even know that that story happened until <laughs> like two weeks ago these guys they took me out for my uh birthday recently yep. and like and another friend they kept like pushing drinks down my throat and i'm like guys no i have class tomorrow okay. we did it we did it. So, the people yeah. at the party yeah. pushed we drinks did. down your throat okay sure <laughs> lying is fun sometimes like <laughs> but um but no he'd be first of all i'll give you some context there'd be a shot and kim would go oh no i don't want to take a shot take a shot and so i'd be like all right i'll take it i'm here but I'll take it with you. I'll take it now. I was going to be like, you're taking a shot. I'm just like, oh, no, that's disgusting. And then, like, they'll be like, no, no, I can't take the shot. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'll take it because I want to have a good time, too. And then next thing you know, I started getting the spins, and I felt sick a little bit. But So I took it, took it easy. Then we, they're like, let's go to the casino now. I'm like, okay, because my whole plan for the past couple months was to bet, bet on black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was supposed to put, bet fifty dollars on black, right? But <laughs> a couple drinks into that night, I was gonna like, okay, how much do I have in my bank account? Fifteen hundred. Let, let, let's do. Let's put in a thousand. And they're just like, 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 like no, kid. Kid. On no. black, no, yeah. <laughs> no, kid. It bro. Oh my gosh. And then um, so I'm like, okay, let's go. They take us. To, they take me to steak. Uh, no, uh, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell. Oh, and yeah. I was in, oh, no. once you sit down when you're drunk. Oh, yeah. it hits you hard. Uh, I know. So I'm, like <laughs> I'm seeing like the ferry and everything, and somebody somebody said, uh, "Go go climb the ladder and walk onto Taco Bell's roof." And yeah, I'm but like, we're like kind of kidding. We're yeah, like, we're, we're kidding. We're like, yeah, they're, they're like, we're yeah. like, I bet you won't go climb the ladder. They're again. like, ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, the door opens. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out there Halfway climbing up the ladder. ladder. Climbing the ladder. <laughs> but I climb up the. Not top. only this, there's like a six foot gate to before you can even reach the ladder. So yeah. he has to shimmy up like Man. this pipe <laughs> to before Man, he can grab. The, there's probably I like used... ten cars. Of yeah, we're in a back. Online. It probably takes fifteen minutes worth of cars in the lot. So there's like twelve people watching him climb. They're just like, oh, who's gonna do the damn? I was like, Ken. A lot of people rely on me. I don't know what they were rely on me for. And then I just like, okay, you got, you can't let them down. I don't know what. So I pull myself up there somehow. Is drunk strength, I like to call it. I, just, I start climbing with my arms, and then I finally got my legs under it, and I got up there. I'm walking around uh, Taco Bell's roof. I don't see nothing but air conditioning units and vents. I'm like, oh, this is boring. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess I yeah, expected expect? a pinball machine up there. I don't know what was so amazing. So I'm walking down. And I run into the car. The Taco Bell worker comes out, goes to the car behind me, and is like, "What? Did somebody climb up on the, uh, the roof?" <laughs> the guy was a G though. He was like, "Oh no, no, yeah, he ran the other way." And I'm, I, my head's sticking out the door. I was like, uh, "Yeah," <laughs> and I'm like, "Did you snitch?" <laughs> He's like, "Nope." And I bought his food. Oh, that's <laughs> see, that's it. Not all heroes work. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we went to the casino, and I was like, "Okay, this was before the casino." Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> before the casino. <laughs> so they're t- I'm, they sit me down because everybody has to use the bathroom. And I'm just like. It was bending like, over. <laughs> there was no life in me whatsoever. It was like raising him from the dead, getting him from the car yeah. into the casino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, apparently, he spanked me too with a paddle I didn't even know about. Yeah, there's, it. Like and there's like a sorority paddle. <laughs> yeah. like, and then um, we get through there, and I'm, I'm like, I don't know why I was having a deep conversation with the security guard that was carding me. <laughs> he was like, I'm like, I'm gonna bet on black. <laughs> he was like, okay. he was just like. Most okay, <laughs> and I was like, "But you don't understand, I'm gonna win." <laughs> and so I'm walking through there. I'm, I put my car in the ATM. Everybody's like, "You can't <laughs> withdraw one thousand I'm like, "You guys need to stop doing this to me. Let let me down because I can win this for sure." But turns out my car only lets me withdraw like five hundred. <laughs> like, but they won't even let me do that. So I'm like, "Fine, I guess I'll do 50 <laughs> And they dragged me over to the roulette table because I was like, "Fifty dollars on black. Let's get it." <laughs> put $50 on black and um, 
Honestly, I didn't even know how to play. <laughs> I was I looked over to Grant and I was like, "How do you do this?" <laughs> Cuz it's all digital. Yeah. He he helps me out. I put $50 on black and then they play it and I I just zoned out. I think I fell asleep kind of. Yeah. <laughs> and so, <laughs> like, yeah, that's my yeah. money. I'm like <laughs> Then Grant's like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh." I'm like Yeah, he like he wasn't surprised. I wasn't first. surprised he was just at all. staring at me. <laughs> I was just staring. He's like, "Dude, you won." I'm like I mean, you, I mean, you knew. This. You said you were gonna win. So. <laughs> yeah, I knew, but I, I thought I'd be like more like happy about it. But I was like, let's just. God, I just want to go home at that point. <laughs> like, but as soon as he wins it, I mean, it's like he's completely sober. It's like he never had a drink. He was up, like yelling. I was like <laughs> yeah. jumping around. He was he talked as clear as could be. He could moonwalk across the casino I at would. this point. Winning money would do that. Too. Imagine if I put a thousand dollars now, man. I would have won that. Yeah, well, doubled yeah. it. We told That's... him to, right, Grant? Yeah, we told. <laughs> I told you to put fifteen hundred, but Zach and Blake were trying to talk um, you down. See, that's don't let people don't let people put you down, guys. <laughs> Achieve your goals. Bet on black. That was a good night. We all came out on top. We did, yeah. Except for, <laughs> except for Zach, <laughs> he lost twenty five dollars. That's not that's not horrible though. I I get sad when I lose two dollars. So <laughs> I'm very cheap. I I'm a very frugal. Per- Actually, I'm not. I will pay. Six hundred dollars for food, but won't pay my tuition. So, <laughs> yeah. That's just how I am. I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't know about that. But. Yeah. Uh, can we take a break and come back for part two? Yeah, we're gonna yeah, take yeah. a quick intermission so we can think about other stuff. To talk about. All right, see you guys. All right, cool. see you. <laughs> All right, welcome back. We just took a little break. This is we're still doing the same thing. A little talky, talky talk. Doing a little story, story. Mm-hmm. I still so. have a story. College story left. But we don't want to listen to Ken's college stories anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken, tell um, us about it. So this is like my first – okay, for high schoolers that are listening or like any young people that are thinking about going to college, college is not all about drinking, but I have a drunk story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is my first introduction to like the college life and like, you know, fraternities and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I go to my friend's college <clears throat> and he – is a part of this fraternity and he's telling me like oh fraternities are fraternity parties are sick and everything i've never been to one obviously and i just imagine like the movies and everything how crazy it was nothing else mm-hmm. and it you know fifth description <laughs> <laughs> they he, always do he, they have like these designated drivers come pick them up uh-huh so they picked us up took us to the part this house off campus to, and i we, we got there, and I stepped out of the car, and I was like, is there even a party going on here? <laughs> it was, the house sounded de- like dead silence. Mm-hmm. Nothing's going on. I'm like, oh, I guess we're just going to chill around on the couch and, you know, play <laughs> Cards Against Humanity or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing. No. <laughs> but as they open the door, the music just hits me in the face like, boom, boom, boom. It was like Halloween night, so we were all in costumes. <laughs> me and my friend was dressed up as, like, doctors. And um, it sounds like the beginning to like a scream movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was like a, it was like a, a, a it, this could be in a, like a movie. It's like, like a, a scary college. movie, <laughs> not scary movie. It's like a you know like uh, neighbors, oh, something that neighbors. crazy. <laughs> and I was like, this is sick. We walk in, there's like a lot of people like mm-hmm. dancing. It's like a, basically a club in a house. I didn't hear anything outside. It's a clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, it's, a clubhouse. <laughs> it's a wonderful clubhouse. <laughs> And we start getting going, and they're shoving drinks down my throat and all that, and my friend gets really messed up. Uh, nothing really, nothing crazy happens, but like after the party, when we start going home, is where all the crazy stuff happens. My friend is so drunk, he starts running in the middle of the road. And he's like, I need to get hit by a car. What? Yeah. I don't know. It's so casual. I need this. Yeah, so he runs in the middle of the road. He's like, History rewards the bull. <laughs> famous, famous, yeah, famous last words. Yeah. The car, the car stops, and we had to drag him off. We're like, dude, we got to go home now. <laughs> so we're carrying him back to the house, and he's like, he, he blacked out. He didn't know what happened last night. Uh, that Not last night, that night. <laughs> and that's about, that's the, it's, it's not crazy, but that was, that was like my first introduction to like a crazy college party. That <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's solid. I have a lot, but we don't have time for that. <laughs> but um, actually, I want to talk about, you know, what school we go to since we go to Mizzou and everything. We're big sports fanatics, I'd say, kind of. Or followers. I believe it's pronounced Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> but we follow college sports and professional sports. Um, what do you guys think about Mizzou football? 
I think we're going ten and two at least. So who's going? Who are we going to lose to? <laughs> who are? <laughs> yeah. Who shouldn't we have lost to? I'll say that one. Uh, Wyoming. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, Wyoming fans. Yeah, we're a couple weeks in, and mm-hmm. everybody. These guys said that um, Mizzou's going to. They have an easy season. They're going to win every single game. I'm not optimistic. I'm a realist. He's Mr. Debbie Downer. He's also a Jets fan, so yeah. he's, okay. used to dis- okay. he's used to <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a realist. The Jets are going to go win Super Bowl, I tell you. <laughs> Can the Jets be undefeated this season? No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we should have won that game. You know this. You're bothering me. I don't know why. <laughs> we just, we, this, we're on a third kicker. We released him already. He missed a field goal and an extra point. We're supposed to be up by three. Not only that, we had a touchdown call back, so that's why we had to kick a field goal that we missed. The best part about that game was that I talked so our, much shit. Yeah, our <laughs> yeah. old. So the person that is actually in Germany that used to be on our podcast, Ian, and he's probably going to join back in when he gets back, is a huge Bills fan. Oh. <laughs> so him and Ken go back and forth all the time. Big rivalry. <laughs> Very big rivalry. And Ken always said, "Yeah, but last time we played, Jets won." <laughs> last time yeah. we played, Jets won. <laughs> <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> where, where was the game at? Is that MetLife, this, wasn't no, it? No, is that Buffalo? Oh, was it? Uh, Pretty sure. That could be an excuse. Buffalo. <laughs> 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 Ken's ready to cut the podcast. Yeah, uh, yeah. Y'all can go home. I'm a diehard Jets fan. Today. Yeah, you're you're a Packers fan, aren't I you? I am. I'm a very big Green Bay Packers. That's a fan. rough win. <laughs> it depends on how you look at it. I look at it as like, damn, our defense got pretty good. Or yeah, it got really good. But I have Aaron Rodgers as my, on my fantasy. Oh, was, and, okay. All right. And he didn't do too well for me. It, <laughs> I tried trading you. <laughs> you did. That's. I feel bad because I'm a very big Packers fan. But I saw Aaron like when you tried to trade me him on fantasy. I was like, because hmm. who do you want, Zeke? You wanted Zeke for Aaron Rodgers. I wanted a lot. It was a bogus trade. I, get I was it. like, mm-hmm. you're gonna call no. me out on the podcast. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I, I, Aaron Rodgers. If you ever listen to this, I'm sorry. Fight him, please. I will always take your fantasy. I just didn't have first pick, you know. I, I think I was ninth, but I think I honestly, like you said, I'm a realist too. Like, I would never like. I love. I support all my team with Mizzou. I love. Um, I love the Packers. I'm a big Kyrie Irving fan. I support like everybody. However, I'm not like afraid to say like we shouldn't have won this game or we shouldn't have lost this game. But this year, I. I truly think that the Packers are going to win the Super Bowl. No, a hundred percent. Like back it's in like February, the Jets are going to win the Super Bowl. Well, we're, we're different. <laughs> I know we're a team that's been building for the past five we seven just, years. If we get our receiving core down, we have a great defense against Chicago. And in mind, like it was the first game of the mm-hmm. season, but in Chicago against that defense, Bill Mac. Yeah, which is Chicago's defense. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty Did they have Floyd number ninety four on Chicago? He was wrecking us. I was like, "Good lord!" I'm like, they <laughs> didn't have time to throw the ball. He really. didn't. Mm-hmm. He, there was a couple like play action plays that he the ran. kept collapsing. And he, yeah, oh, why he didn't use his legs like usual? Well, they hurt probably. Um, we <laughs> 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 were the last game against Chicago <laughs> last yeah, season, yeah. Where, but <laughs> I I think Aaron Rodgers is great. I think the Packers will win the Super Bowl. Um, you heard it here first. <laughs> so, what do you think their regular season record is going to be? Got a prediction? Um, Undefeated. <laughs> I think we'll win twelve games. I'll say we'll win twelve games. That's a okay. Well, I'm Aaron Rodgers better do me well <laughs> if they're going to win twelve games. I think we'll win. I think the Jets are going to finish. How many wins? I think they're going to win nine games. Okay, I five hundred. You guys got Darnold Seven. right? Yep. Oh. Darnie, the ghost. <laughs> Have his jersey not signed yet. <laughs> I'm still messaging him every day on, on Instagram. That's how you had to do it. I literally called out Green Bay on Twitter <laughs> at least once a month for the past two years. <laughs> Yo, what I got to do to get some free tickets? <laughs> Never responded. But I have Le'Veon Bell. On your fantasy? That's about it. No, I'm oh. for the Jets. That's what I'm ecstatic about. <laughs> but, yeah, with Kelly Bryant, he's exciting to play for Mizzou. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's fun to watch. Yeah. I think he's doing fairly well, honestly. For, I yeah, mean, really. Of course, the Wyoming game was tough. But he didn't do I mean, bad. He did, he did really a little bit terrible. above average. Yeah. Mizzou beat Mizzou for that Wyoming game. We're supposed oh, to absolutely. We're supposed to demolish <laughs> Wyoming. Last year, didn't we beat them like 40, 41 to 10 or something yep. like that? Mm-hmm. Mizzou is infamous for playing to the level of their opponent. <laughs> if the opponent's yeah. really bad, they play really bad. If they're really good, they usually play really good. That's a really good way to put it. Yeah. 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 But we, so what do you think Mizzou's record's going to be? Anyone? I think we'll... 
They're going to win six ten or seven two. games. 10-2? Ten ten two. Two? Yes. Honestly, I could go 10-2 because I don't see us losing. I think I all of our us. games are going to be close except Georgia could be a tough one. Georgia's I think going to be rough. They're going to lose to Georgia. Okay. <laughs> all right. So this is my optimism side. Last year, I felt like we could have beat Georgia. Yeah. I, we, I was at that game. We, mm-hmm. we played pretty decent. Georgia – didn't play to level two or number two country. You know what I'm trying to yeah. say. Yeah. Like number two yeah. team in the nation. I don't think they played yeah. to that full potential. And like on that day, at least I feel like we could have beat them. There was a couple calls that didn't go our way. Mm-hmm. This year, I until further notice, I do think we can beat Georgia. Like wow, I think we I would Georgia. love to see us beat. Georgia. I would love to see. We us could. Too. I know. Like last year, we played Alabama too. Yeah. That was probably the only game where I was yeah. like, you know yeah. what. We're out so of this. It's yeah. a tough draw for yeah. Alabama. Mm-hmm. Even Alabama didn't play to their best ability. Like we lost, what was it, thirty nine to ten last year? Yeah. They were blowing out every other team like by forty. Nick Saban 50 even points. said that he was surprised by yeah. the game, yeah. No, I was gonna say speaking of Alabama, do you think their dynasty's slowly coming to an end? No. no. They have do they have been will good. ever come to an end. They are a running back slash um receivers factory. And uh, defense, actually, they're and like defensive, defensive I think, players. I think Alabama has two more good years, and really? they're not going to be they're not going to be the powerhouse of the SEC anymore. What do you think, Clemson, LSU? LSU is going to be the powerhouse <laughs> of that that side of the SEC, and Mizzou on the other side, of course. Wait, you <laughs> say LSU? Oh, the, uh, the SEC. Yes, yes, I think LSU you is going to be so. the, the SEC. Up. Yep. Okay. They played. Uh, who was it? Tennessee or Texas? Texas. Texas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you hear though that that's another controversy? <laughs> At the game because they played in Texas, Texas didn't turn the fans on in LSU's they didn't away have AC locker, in their room. locker room, so oh. they didn't have AC in there. That's horrible. And the coach yeah. is like complaining to the NCAA and see if they'll do it, like find them or anything. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. how about they give them a damn postseason? Ban? That's what they should do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. Yeah, what do you think about that the postseason ban? That's... A lot of people say it's gonna get lifted. I don't think it's gonna get lifted. No, I don't think it will either. It's so I don't. It doesn't make any sense to me why you'd punish. The players that didn't even have, were involved. Like yeah, I could yeah. see finding the school money, but don't punish the players. Or that if weren't the players involved. were on the team. Yeah, like right now. Yeah, wasn't it like it was our football team, softball, and um, was it our baseball team that all got the postseason ban? Yeah, something yes. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Baseball. That's terrible. But I mean, the circumstances that what I've been told about that whole situation, um, I we were like upfront about it compared to other schools yeah we, were, we, we helped them we yeah. found out about it and then reported it. yeah <laughs> they were just like okay so this is what happened we're trying to help you out and then they're like oh, okay sweet here's a ban yeah <laughs> and, then we're, and we then sat there just like what's crazy is unc did the same thing and lied about UNC, it and then they didn't get anything mm-hmm. yeah, do you think uh ncaa is corrupt Easy, yes. Oh my yeah. gosh. We can get yeah. a whole podcast about that because yeah. yeah. that's what I'm saying. Isn't it, it's really suspicious the year we get Kelly yeah, Bryant, the year like the year that we're supposed to be uh-huh. really good, is that we get a postseason ban for something we like fessed up to, yeah. owned it, and then did everything ourselves pretty much to. I think they just don't like Kelly it Bryant. Out. I think, or I think a lot of schools in the they're just scared. Like, like you're telling me Missouri. Georgia doesn't have a lot of influence on uh, the old <laughs> SEC, <laughs> oh. <laughs> the old NCAA. NCAA. There's a lot of schools that like do stuff, and they know about it. Yeah, they 100% know about it. They just don't mm-hmm. do it. Like I'm sure Duke and UNC, like they're like basketball powerhouses. Yeah, I'm 100% positive. There's some stuff that yeah we don't know, but the NCAA does, does like they know about it, but they're like uh. We won't say anything about yeah, that. We'll yeah. sweep that under the rug. Like I just, I know there would never be like equality among schools and stuff. Like mm-hmm. maybe because of like the SEC, ACC, wherever you mm-hmm. are, Big Ten, whatever. But like, I would like to see a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna happen, yeah. but it'd be nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was Kelly Bryant driving whenever he almost hit you? Uh, <laughs> Dodge Challenger. It was supplied by the school. 2018 <laughs> Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> License plate number. Uh, but the school didn't give it to him. <laughs> so I, it's we're team not car. paying our college players. <laughs> Do you guys think college athletes should be paid? I, I mean, they put um, in quite. A, they put in a lot of work for it. I think they should get paid as much as Sean gets paid. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Sean, Sean works for IT for the school, so whenever somebody's computer needs to be restarted, they call this guy. Thanks. <laughs> Nine twenty an hour. Nine twenty an hour. That's what college so players. If they were to get paid, how would you pay them? Would you like? Would they have to sign a contract? They can't transfer or something. You don't like, get paid unless you win a year. <laughs> I feel like they can pay them with years. all the cool gear they get from, for playing the sport, and they yeah. can sell it off to like 
pawners. <laughs> they should. I mean, I honestly, I kind of agree. If you win, you get paid. That it, like mm-hmm. man, people yeah. will work hard. But then there may be like a thing where like people. Well, never mind. Because I was like, people want to go to yeah. places where like they know they're gonna win. But yeah. like, if you're not good, you won't get there. Mm-hmm. So. What about like making your own products? That's what. Because like players can't do that. That's what I was gonna say. Maybe not a salary, but maybe like autographs and thing. like yeah. NCAA game and stuff like that. I feel yeah. like they should get paid from. But maybe not like a salary for the school pays mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. for the players. The UFC uh, punter or kicker. The, the UCF. Yeah, UCF. <laughs> 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 UFC. UFC. <laughs> what? <laughs> Heavyweight division. You just beating people's but, ass. Yeah, there's. Uh, UCF <laughs> kicker who started a YouTube channel and got very successful. He was making money off of YouTube, and the NCAA uh, banned him from doing it. They told, well, they, they gave him an ultimatum. They're like, you can either play football and stop doing YouTube or get kicked off. Why can't he make money? That YouTube yeah, has no, nothing to do with the NCAA. Yeah, nothing at all. Dumb. But he, but for I don't understand. I really don't. See. So he ended up playing in the CFL and then got released. Yeah, that's why I'm not playing football for <laughs> yeah. Missouri right now. Yeah. <laughs> they had the offers. <laughs> I would have went, but you yeah. know. I tore my left ankle meniscus up back in high school. So I would have went D1 for sure. But yeah. Yeah, I tore my arachnophobia, and then yeah, here I, I am. I got beat up by a squirrel. <laughs> Lost was, all my scholarships after. I was ready for D1 football, but I decided to take my talents to flag football instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where the money's at. Where'd you guys? Yeah. We started a flag football team. Um, yeah, with all of us actually. Yeah, all of us. We're like, we're like except the, for except for Lee. Lee's on. He's on the, he's on the A team. We're on the yeah. We're, <laughs> well, the, B we're the B team. team. <laughs> we're the B team of his A team. <laughs> I really, I actually and, really wanted to play with like all you guys though, because like, oh, you don't I, have to be nice right now. <laughs> well, no, like, like me and Gavin were talking about it, like how we wanted to play, play oh, how we wanted to like play with you guys, just because like we met you guys stuff. Like, like was it over the summer or like it was like, was, like towards the end of the towards school, the end actually, of the yeah. semester? So we're like, damn, that'd be really great to like play and stuff like that. And I'm just always here. Like I truly don't care what team I'm on. I'm just here to play, and yeah, I just really wanted to show sure. Am. We're just trying to have fun. We don't care. Yeah. We're just trying to make a big fool out of ourselves. We're trying it's to get chains from Party City. Yeah, it's fun. Chains? Yeah, we're yeah. going to get a turnover chain. We're going to get a clown, clown nose, nose for if you have a if turnover. I be dope. <laughs> like if, I, if I throw an interception or anything, like I have to put on a clown nose and they can make fun of me. <laughs> That'd be dope. They should do that in college. That'd the dunce hilarious. cap. <laughs> you have to sit like on the sideline with <laughs> the dunce cap and throw an interception. See, that'd be dope. Actually, I'm all for it. I love it. I'm all for it. We're trying to take Lee off of there. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> He's just here so he doesn't get fined. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I'm all for it. Uh, I hope we do. I hope we do pretty well. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I mean, think about the whole Antonio Brown situation, NFL. Leaving the Raiders. Yeah. That dude is nuts. I don't think. <laughs> <He's, like, laughs> <laughs> capital N. Yeah. It's like. Ooh, for nuts. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a firm believer. The Belichick and him have talked way before. Yeah, I don't care what this came out. Like they definitely talked. And like he, Belichick was like, "Oh, the NFL is released. also rigged, and my fantasy football league, the commissioner, the commissioner for my fantasy football league is also rigged. So <laughs> everything's <laughs> rigged." Did you guys hear about uh, how Jerry Rice thinks that AB like planned all this out? I, like, I was just about to say like to get to the Patriots. Patriots. The move them there. You don't think like he I did it on it. purpose? Now they're yeah, investigating. That's it. Like, you put, like, all the pieces together. Like, mm. I forgot what I saw, but, like, because originally, wasn't he, like, he didn't, like, he requested to be traded. It's like, he requested to be traded. The Steelers like, would not want to trade him to the, the Patriots, Patriots just so, yeah, because they'll dominate. Yeah. And then, so, uh, they, they trade him to the Raiders. Asking. And he threw, what was it? He had frostbite on his toes. That, do you, yeah. like, just think about also, he had, like, he got sent him to, like, some, uh, I don't know what the hell it's called. Macronics, Metro City. I don't know what it's called. Megamind. Yeah, whatever that is. (laughs) (laughs) And like, he burned his toes. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. So oh, the cryogenic. Um, yeah, the yeah, cryogenic. Yeah. I said metro. I don't, you know what I'm trying to say. Metro I'll, PCS. I'll, I don't know. Yeah, the cryogenic. And then he got the whole helmet issue. Uh-huh. Uh, stopped going helmet. Pra- yeah. And yeah. He, he, just, he got an endorsement off of it. Yeah, got an endorsement. Smart guy. <laughs> he stopped going to practice and then got fined and like posted the letter on Instagram thinking like, oh, this is, yeah. this is the one that's going to get me <laughs> traded yeah. for sure. He hired yeah. a videographer to record him scrolling yeah. and then uh-huh. freaking out. To top it all off. He called the GM a <laughs> And they're like, all right, we ain't going to trade he you. He was definitely looking for a lease. He was definitely like, like, what more do I have to do yeah. to get traded? Yeah. Like, and the fact was... that he like signed with the Patriots, like, what, 24 hours later? It was less, less, less than that. that. It, it was, was like a couple day. hours. Yeah. It, was, it was agreed upon, like, within, like, the first three hours. Belichick, yeah. real quiet. 
He was working <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes. He was like, good. He has yeah. the hood yeah. up and everything. He's like, hey. <laughs> He's like, you called him a <laughs> And they still want you. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> they just asked to be released. He's like, all right, Bill. He's just like, call me a and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sight you don't ever want to think about. <laughs> Please blur, blur that out, Sean. <laughs> Can you just imagine if he did play? Like, because the Steelers got this is their asses. I'm handing this to you. Now, yeah, that's them. Yeah. Like, yeah. the Patriots tossed him up without Antonio Brown. Mm-hmm. That's sad. Well, with that move, it gave the, <laughs> the Patriots gave the Jets Demarius Thomas. I know he's kind of old, but think about it. Brandon Marshall, I think he left uh, the Bears. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he left the Bears t- to the Jets. First year played extremely well. Same thing with Demarius Thomas. He- <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. He's gonna play extremely well, and the Jets are gonna win the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, no. The first 0 and 16. I told you to they're gonna the win like nine to ten games. So. <laughs> Without Mark Sanchez. <laughs> Mark Bring Sanchez. Back. Bring Mark back. Isn't yeah, he like what? an analyst now? For ESPN. Yeah. What quarterbacks? How? What College quarterbacks have the Jets there. gone through the past couple of years? It don't matter. We, we were rebuilding. It was Fitzpatrick, McCown, Petty, Hackenberg. Sanchez. <laughs> the Rams got a... <laughs> Hackenberg. Um, yeah. I his name's Sam Bradford, who's like number two be- or number one best quarterback coming out of the draft from Oklahoma. He was Sam Bradford. He was really good. He never had an <laughs> yeah. offensive he played, line. He played great like the first two years. Yeah, the first years. year they were yeah. like eight and eight, best finish in like years. It's same thing. That, <laughs> same thing that happened to Mark Bolger because Mark Bolger was a pro bowler. Whenever he played for yeah. the Ravens, then I wasn't he came, a big fan of Mark Bolger. Came to St. Louis. Yeah, and, me But once you start taking a bunch of hits. You honestly get like PTSD. It's like you're like shell shocked. That is true. And you like start to crumble like when you see so, something. Because like, why are you going to want to? During high school football, they moved me. They put me at like emergency quarterback, and so I played a couple games because a lot of our quarterbacks got injured. And so I, I got <laughs> bombarded like no other because they just like, hey, can run. I'm like, I thought I, was, I wanted to be quarterback. I want to throw. <laughs> and so I'm getting like smoked and everything. Then I moved back, once I moved back to receiver because we had a young guy come up. I start flinching at the easiest thing. So I'm, run, I'm running around. There's a linebacker right there that getting ready to cook, like get on me. I'm like, oh, God. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. So I just keep thinking, like, okay, he's going to sack me. But I'm like, oh, I'm running around. <laughs> just get open. <laughs> it was a difficult transition, but, like, it gave me PTSD, like, yeah. hardcore. And I was also addicted to Vicodin. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> Damn, that escalated quick. <laughs> Hard stuff. Vicodin rocks. <laughs> it's just the healthcare system is corrupt. <laughs> if you fuck it. <laughs> hey, but I'm good now. I'm, I'm, I'm going easy on ibuprofen. So. Unbelievable. <laughs> Definitely corrupt. <laughs> I have a friend named Zoe. She would love to tell you about why health centers are corrupt. She <laughs> she knows a lot. Oh, much more than that. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to have girl. a debate about oh, vaccines and shit. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Vaccines Jeez. are basically doctor's commission. <laughs> 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 did you ever like while we're on the topic of like doctors and like medicine and stuff like was there ever like something simple like when you were in like high school middle school or elementary school that like could always fix anything because like when i was in grade school like my professor not professor my nurses if i go there they'd be like here's some crackers you'll be fine <laughs> i'm like oh i think i'm internally bleeding here's some crackers <laughs> my leg is broken <laughs> crackers like was there like anything that you guys like would would do or like so for some reason I every time I every time I had to shit my pants really bad, <laughs> I had to use the bathroom really bad. I complained to the teacher saying, "Oh, my stomach's hurt, hurting. I think I'm sick. Something's wrong." And then um, they'll be like, okay. So they go to the nurse. And I'm like, my stomach's really hurting. And they're like, yeah, something. You're bloated. Something's wrong. And they send me home. <laughs> so, and that's wonderful because that gets me out of school. I'm like, um. I don't feel so well. It's too good. <laughs> and then she's like, okay, honey, we'll just take you home. You can rest. I'm like, yes. See, so I go home and play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> if, like, I ever got, like, nervous, like, where my stomach would start to hurt before, like, a soccer game or, like, a tennis match or anything, I would always just sit there and think, like, if what would my body do if I took like an emodium or something that eases my stomach. <laughs> uh-huh. And then if Try I think about it long enough, about it, then I'll, 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 I'll just stop disappear. feeling. Yeah, like I won't feel it anymore. Do you ever like, if your stomach hurts, like they make you drink Sprite or like uh, Sprite ginger ale? Yeah. 
something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, seven. The old remedy. <laughs> Mine was like seven up in bread. Yeah. That was mine. Mm-hmm. And it mm-hmm. fixed sweating everything. Out the, sweating out the sickness. <laughs> oh, yeah. My friend Charles, he does that. Like, I'm sick. And he's like, has a stuff he knows, but I'm going to sweat it out. So he, turns, <laughs> he burritos himself with a blanket and turns up the heat. You got Apparently to. he's doing okay. <laughs> you guys ever just like fake being sick? Like oh, to get yeah. out of going to school? All the time. <laughs> yeah. I tried. <laughs> so, yeah. There's like... I definitely did. Oh, yeah, I definitely did. And the best part... How did you guys get out? Your dad's a doctor. How did you guys get out of this? He was at work. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing his job. Yeah. He's like, he's like listening to that. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, I feel like... Because our mom's like... Uh, she's a radiology tech. So like they both know like when we're not sick. But I feel like it's just because... Like, I'm not going to fight We it. kept <laughs> saying like... I'm just gonna, if I go home, I'm just going to get called out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get called out. Yeah, like yeah. I'll be like sick, and then, but usually what I would do is I would make myself sick. I remember. <laughs> How like, did you make yourself? <laughs> no, like I would like think all night before the next day of school. I'm like, Grant, you gotta get sick. And I wake up in the morning. I'm like, I don't feel too good. My stomach hurts. <laughs> and then I'll go sit in the bathroom for like 20 minutes and just sit there, and, and then come back out. And be like, noise, like, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> flush. I remember when I was little. I didn't want to go to school the next day, and I started licking pennies. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I do. do. <laughs> what did, what did that do? Oh, you yeah, think you get sick? I thought, I thought I was gonna get sick. <laughs> Before you explain, we gotta take another break. Is it already like? It's a time limit. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, we're going to take yeah, another man. break, apparently. <laughs> Are you getting after it? Bring it back. Are you going to finish your story? And we're back. Uh, Grant, continue your story then. So, yeah, I <laughs> just licked pennies to try to get sick. <laughs> so it's, you it's thought, like, it. there was enough bacteria on a penny. <laughs> or I figured, like, I was like, you know what? A lot of people touch these pennies. Maybe if oh. I lick one, I'll get oh. sick. That's how bad I didn't want to go to school. Oh. <laughs> is I was full on risking licking a penny. See, my mom, if I didn't want to go to school, my mom was like, yeah, okay, sure, you can stay home. But because she knew I was a good kid, I wasn't going to go out and, like, you know, do the marijuana. <laughs> or, like, the marijuana. Or sip, you know, the a lot of beers. The thing is, like, I think our parents knew if I wasn't sick, but then they would be like... If I would start getting up or go play Xbox or something, they would go, oh, you must be getting better. We could probably take you back to this for the second oh, half yeah, of school. <clears throat> and then I'd be like... Did that happen? Yeah. And then so if I, if I played sick, I just had to lay on the couch all day. So it had so its... So you're playing re- Xbox on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it had its ups and downs. It was worth it to watch like Tom and Jerry, like oh, nice and early shame. in the morning. Yeah. That was great. My mom would go get like breakfast, bring it back. I can barely stomach it. <laughs> <laughs> so delicious, but I can't eat it. <laughs> more, more, please. But I'm sick, mom. <laughs> but my parents, my mom is so Asian, so. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever we get sick, she, she still does this. She does, she tries to make like a, like a homemade sauna. So she has like, she boils a pot of these herbal leaves, mm-hmm. right? Full of water. Mm-hmm. And then um, we're not we're not drinking or anything, but it's a very strong scent. Uh-huh. And so they, they we would it's a whole like I said it's a homemade sauna. So we, she puts a pot on the on the floor, and then she makes me get under a blanket and puts it, and I wrap myself. I throw a blanket over myself with a pot inside. So you may, it starts steaming on the inside. I'm just oh, supposed to know. sweat it all out. Burn yourself up. <laughs> yeah, while while I'm breathing in all this like strong like it's like a minty type. Yeah. It's yeah. like a okay. yeah, it's like a like a. a I can't explain it. It's just an herby kind of scent, and then you sweat like a lot. Imagine like a bunch of burning leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could get burned. Trust oh, me. Like, yeah. First hand experience. <laughs> <laughs> but she, somehow, apparently, that works. I'm like, sure. And I, could, I just didn't want to do the acupuncture thing cool. where she, like, you know, have you ever seen those cups where they, like, the suction cups on your back? Yeah. My parent, my mom would do that. Or she'll take a quarter, and, like, um, she has like, this, like, tire bomb type of thing like dab it on my back and start like scratching until I get like scars and everything not scars but like, <laughs> Blood rushes like to the skin. yeah the, <laughs> like these red marks or, or rashes I'd say and they'll like a little line on my back look like I got abused but no just, <laughs> apparently they do this all over Asia and it's really weird I don't do it anymore because I'm like mom this is stupid because <laughs> now he likes it uh-huh. now he goes now he pays women high dollar to do it <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe it just takes takes your mind off of it because of the pain 
ah, oh, it's not worth it. <laughs> Mom, you're stupid. This doesn't work. And I get my ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, this concludes the episode, guys. You know, yeah. enjoy you today. We had a Thank good time. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, really fun for yeah. coming on here. You want to look at the... Hold up. Oh, wait, what? We can never forget about the... <sighs> word of the day. Is the word of I said word of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I messed that up. Word of the week. It's not word of the day. I, I did, I did it's why. word of the week. Not word of the day. Ken doesn't know what we're doing <laughs> on this show. Ep- how many episodes are we in this? Eight deep. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I just botched. We've been doing this a lot, in and nice I said, <laughs> sucked in all the air, came up right. All right, next hey, to I could average guy. See you. <laughs> all right, word of the week. Uh, can you explain word of the week? So, word of the week, if you've been watching, is just the game we have at the end, where we do insane. We read insane words and do even more insane challenges. This but, is Lee's first time. Yeah, Lee's mm-hmm. first time, and there's no better way to bring mm-hmm. on a first timer no, than how he started it. Hot yeah, stuff. How do, you, <laughs> there it is. how do you do it, with, like hot stuff? It says the end on it. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> <What is> it? <laughs> you deal with hot, hot like spicy food. <laughs> yeah. yeah, to a certain extent. Like six million school bills. No, <laughs> <laughs> probably not. I'm. Hey, you're being a trooper. Thank you for. I am yeah. here. I love a challenge. I'm very. I always. I like to eat. I don't know if I like to eat this, but I would like to try it. <laughs> this stuff's so hot. That's actually how I got this burn right here. Okay. I dropped a little bit on my lip. <laughs> Guys, keep in mind, a drop of this is for a whole pot of chili to make it spicy. A I drop. feel like this burns more than one of my girlfriend's <laughs> rolls, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my girlfriend. <laughs> She's gonna kill you. Thank you, sugar baby. <laughs> All right, Sean, randomize right, Sean, it. Let's do it. And then... just me, or, or are we using a computer? I really hope you're using a computer instead of using you, because you no. stab me in the back. He said no. <laughs> are we supposed to look? Hey, right, you guys want to give a countdown? Like five seconds. Seven, six. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, two stop. One. Oh, okay. Ken. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was really hoping Amazing. I'd get out of this. Uh, oh, Ken man. took a dab. All right, so if he gets it right, then we all have to do it too. Fuck. Yeah. But if he gets it wrong, then he has to do a second one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh, it's hot. It's hot. Last time I did this, I about died. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're like, you're like, I ain't no pussy, and you dip the whole thing in. <laughs> I'm a pussy. For sure. No word. Oh, you gotta take it. I oh. want you to get. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is bad. You wrote this. <laughs> yeah. Man, I I really wish I could get all you guys. Don't wish that upon us. Mm. Don't you wish it on me, Ricky? Just look at the color of it. I mean, that doesn't it's look. Just, it's who do, it burns. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll take that. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. I cannot touch my eyes with that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why did he do that? Why are you looking again? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Snail ghoster. What's Snail that? Snally ghoster. A funny person. Uh-oh. Boss. <laughs> oh, God. It is. Fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is a... It's actually a... Ang- like an angry person. Okay. Oh my god. Take it. All right. Let's do it together. I don't like. Hold on. God damn it. Yeah. Like, yeah. give me your water. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, this is. Bad. <laughs> how much do I dip? As much as you want. That's how much we did. All right. How deep is it? I don't. Put the other way. You just get it from the side. That's what I did. <coughs> this is terrible. I don't like this shit. <laughs> Is that too much? Or not? Mm. More. Yeah, probably, probably more. Really? <laughs> Just do it like. I mean, it's really. It, it's pretty hot, but. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, that's that's is that too that's much. Good. That's fair. Here, sign this waiver before you do that. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> All right. All right. Bottoms down. All right, we got it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the outro. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do it. Don't right. do it. Don't do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> my 
my nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks oh for watching this episode. Hey, oh, fit. Thanks for Lee for being on. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to us. Listen to all of our stuff. Oh my Lee. God, Lee, um, <laughs> give, give yourself a shout out. Hey, everybody, follow Lee's podcast and on Spotify, on Spotify and SoundCloud. Do at eleven fifty nine. Last words for. Uh, thank you guys for having me. On. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for having me on the phone. Uh, good fit. Who did? Ooh. Yeah. Um, Spotify. Fuck. <laughs> Spotify. Uh, Spotify. Uh, SoundCloud. Apple Pock. Half. <laughs> Do L fifty nine. Follow me on Instagram too. Good shit. We'll, we'll, we'll tag him. Yeah. Good Lord. Oh my God, my lips are burning. <laughs> Holy fuck! Don't, don't rub your eyes. Don't rub your eyes. Thank you guys for watching. That's a wrap. Oh my god. Good lord Jesus. Sean, we have an extra toothpick. No, 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 no. What do you think? It's gonna hurt. You're sweating so much.